Custom made air intake, cool air intake for beaking. It's made of uh, fiberglass, comes out of the mold as this, looks like this. Have to be trimmed on the ends. Then I paint them black. This is what the final product looks like. Now we can see we're much bigger than what the original one was. Now we're approximately at 2 and 3 sixteenths inch in the inside diameter. The air box is cut up to 2 and 3 eighths. So now this fits in like this. And there's two springs actually hooks up to the, the air, the cool air intake, two little 90 degrees brackets that actually bolts onto the uh, screw on the air box. So this will give you a cool air intake, which are much, much bigger diameter. Actually made a template. So once this template is cut up, it fits perfectly on the end center uh, notches. So it actually shows you where the uh, holes are going to be located. So I think the best way is to use a pointed tool and mark around the hole, the, the outline and poke through it and actually, you know, it's going to leave a mark on your plastic. So then once you take the, take the uh, template off, you can actually follow that using a, a Dremel or a die grinder or something to open them up. First, uh, it's probably the, the first thing would be to uh, make sure that uh, the cool air intake tubes are uh, fit, pretty, fit in the frame. The, the trickiest part is to relocate the wires that actually usually route through the side holes, same on both sides. So now, and also the coil on the uh, left side was actually about uh, at uh, nine o'clock, oriented about at nine o'clock. Now it's uh, rotated pretty well, seven o'clock. The other one all, all about uh, six o'clock. So that will leave you, give you a little bit more room for the, uh, the tube because that's actually why these are indentations are in there to actually clear your coil and the um, valve cover. So they're, they fit pretty tight in there. Um, also, this, the ends of these tubes are actually trimmed after they came out of the mold. So, um, they might be, if they not trimmed enough, right now I tried these in and I made them to fit so they go in. But uh, once my bike back together and I might be making more of these, if I don't trim enough, you might have a little trouble to put in, putting them in. So uh, you might have to trim a little, just to see a little bit on the end there, maybe a 30 second or so. Um, other than that, Oh yeah, on the um, on the right side. Um, for the wiring, actually, um, undo undid the uh, the tape around them, separate all the three wires, so I can move them around a little bit easier. So I can locate them. To clear, and they, and they go underneath the um, the plastic. That well, looks like a fiberglass uh, tank uh, bracket or whatever they call it. Fits underneath there. Same with the uh, uh, signal wire indicator. Routes underneath. 
So it's kind of like this. Now we can put the tubes in. So, kind of tricky, but slides in like this. And then the other one. Like so. So the air box goes in the same, same way as before. It's not any harder to get it in. There's no tube attached to it or nothing. So it goes in like this. So now we can actually hook up the springs. There's a little, uh, actually it's, uh, it's made of stainless steel. There's a little wire that uh, it's fiberglassed into the, the tube. Let's try to get the spring on there. So, then it hooks up to that little 90 degree uh, Maybe I'll use this some pliers. Same thing on the other side. Goes to this one. Once the springs are in, we can line these holes in. That spring pulls the tubes inside the air box. Same thing on this side. This one already went in. And the air box fits in the bike just like it was before. Springs pulls the tubes against the air box so that way Everything's tight, shouldn't move. Everything's got to be uh, plugged back in uh, for the airbox uh, connections. But other than that, uh, you can see here in the hole, we got a tube that actually going to pull the, the maximum air through on each side. My intention was maybe to uh, Maybe I'll try to maybe put a little bit of silicone in there, maybe a couple of dabs of silicone, just to uh, keep the tube in if we ever take the air box off, uh, it should stay in place. It'd be easy, even easier to uh, put the air box uh, the next time.